Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook pork rib with pineapple curry. So I have one kilo of pork rib and one whole pineapple. For the pineapple, I will be use just half. And these are the ingredients that I'm going to blend to make the curry paste. So I have about a dozen of dry chili soaked in the water until it becomes soft like this. And I also have about 10 pieces of the big red chili. This chili, they are not spicy, but they give out a very nice red color. I have two stalks of lemongrass, about eight to nine pieces of shallots, one nap of turmeric, one red onion, and about five cloves of garlic, half tablespoon of blajan, and five pieces of candle nut, and for the seasoning, I have half tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. For the ingredients like this, we will just um, put it in the blender. We don't need to cut it. Garlic. For this one, I'm not cutting the skin because I don't want it to stain my knife. I'm just throwing the whole thing inside. By the way, we have already washed it. And red onion, just make it slightly smaller for the lemongrass we need to cut it into smaller pieces before we put in the blender Just need to put a little bit of water to help in blending process. Now we can go and blend it. All right, within minutes, so I have very nice and fine curry paste, and I'm going to put it aside. And for the pork, we're going to marinate it with salt. Just put it in the basin. This kind of curry is best to cook today and eat it for tomorrow. So that's why I cook a lot and then we can have it for two or three meals. So I'm going to use half of the salt to marinate the pork. Right, pork is marinated and put it aside. Next, we're going to cut the pineapple. So pineapple, I have removed the, the skin and removed the eyes and we're going to cut it into half. Okay, and cut it into half again. And remove the center core. And then just cut like that. Okay, we'll be using this much of the pineapple. Now we, we can go and cook it. In the pan, I have about 4 tablespoons of cooking oil. And we're going to put in the curry paste that we blended just now. We just need to cook this curry paste until it dries and releases a nice fragrance. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes. To cook this paste. All right, see the curry paste is dry up, and then got a little bit of oil coming out from it, and uh, this is the consistency that we wanted. And now I'm going to pour in the meat. Once you pour in the meat, right, you just need to stir. And now I'm going to reduce the heat. To low heat and set the time for one hour but from time to time you need to come back and stir to make sure that it doesn't get stuck at the bottom of the pan cover the lid after about 13 minutes you see it the meat has released some juice and the, or the water if you find it it's too dry you can add water it's okay
continue to cook until the meat is soft. It's a bit dry, so I'm going to put in just about one mug of water. Alright, two more minutes will be one hour of cooking the meat. Look at that curry. Oh my goodness, it looks so yummy. Now we're going to check on the meat, whether it's soft. quite soft so the meat is soft and it's ready and the gravy is a bit less so I'm going to add on just about half a mug of water this much of water and we put in the balance of the salt and the sugar and then the pineapple Once put in the pineapple, we're going to raise the temperature to medium heat again and then um, we continue to cook for about 10 minutes until the pineapple is cooked. We want the pineapple to be just cooked but don't want it to be too soft. So we're just going to cook it for just about uh, 10 minutes. Alright, one more minute to go. See, the pineapple is cooked and nice. Oh, thumbs up. So now I can taste it. Mm. Wow, delicious. It's enough taste, no need to add anything. At this stage, if it's not enough salt, you can add salt. If your pineapple is too sour, maybe you can add some more sugar. But for this pineapple, it's not that too sour. It gives out the slightly sweetness to the curry as well. This kind of curry is best to eat with rice. Take the meat. A bit of meat, a bit of pineapple, and the rice with the gravy. Mm. Wow, this is so delicious. The curry is very tasty. It's enough flavor, enough salt, and slightly spicy. And the meat is tender with the fragrance of the pineapple. This is really good curry to eat with the rice. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my delicious cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye.